Hi everybody, welcome to the Steelers Nation Unite Weekly Huddle. I'm Missy Matthews alongside Ross Cockrell. Thanks so much for joining us. I know you just wrapped up meetings, right? Yes, thanks for having me. All right, we have a lot of questions from you, the fans, so we're going to jump right into them. Ross, the first one is from Steelers Gal. She wants to know your impression of Coach Lake and how he has helped you the most. Yeah, well, Coach Lake, obviously, he played uh, at a high level for a very long time, and um the, the best thing about him being our coach is that because of his experience, uh, he's able to give us some of the inside the helmet, not just the X's and O's. And uh, I really appreciate that. Next question is from Wes. He wants to know, is playing in the NFL always your goal in life? And if not, what was it? Yeah, playing in the NFL uh, was definitely a dream of mine since I was young, baby. <laughs> um, watching it with my dad, it was a good time. All right, this one is from Steel UK. What is it about the approaching regular season that you look forward to the most? Uh, the most, I guess, the most exciting thing about this season coming up is uh, we have a good team, and uh, I think we can go a long way, so uh, I'm looking forward to that. Okay, this, well, that's another Carnell question. We're going to skip that one and go to SNU member. Wants to know, what is your favorite meal before a game, or are you too hyped to even eat? <laughs> Yeah, well, since, since we play most of our games at 1 o'clock, I like uh, a good breakfast omelet. Uh, nothing too special. What do you put in the omelet? I'll have spinach, uh, ham and cheese, maybe some peppers. Okay. All right, this is from Muhan 63 When you get a pick six this year, are you going to do the Will Gay dance, or do you have something else special in mind? Uh, no, I'll, I'll leave Will Gay's dance alone. Um, <laughs> I'll leave that to him. I, I'll probably do something different. All right, this is from Dubri. I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing your name. Uh, says, you signed autographs for my son at training camp and at the preseason game against the Lions. How overwhelming can it be when you have an army of people coming your way asking for an autograph? Well, it's actually pretty exciting. Uh, being a part of Steelers Nation, is, it's intense, and uh, I look to embrace that every chance I get. This next one is from BMAC. What's your favorite thing to do in Pittsburgh during the football season? Thank you so much. Hope you have an amazing season. Go Steelers. Uh, during the football season, I, I pretty much stay low-key. Uh, I like to walk around downtown uh, just to get to know where I am. All righty. Uh, SNU member, did you pick 31 as your number? And if so, why do you wear that? Yeah, I, I did not pick the number. Uh, <laughs> it was given to me upon arrival. And uh, I know there's a lot of history behind it, and uh, I'm proud to wear it. Okay, this next one is from DTrain408. Hi, Ross. What aspect of your play performance did you focus on improving this offseason? This offseason, I really worked on improving my eye discipline and uh, my patience. Uh, I want to be somebody who is in the right place to make plays and uh, somebody that creates a lot of turnovers. All right, this next one is from Mason. He watched our last weekly huddle with Arthur Motes. And Moat said on it that Debo and Cam Hayward are the big jokers in the locker room. Do you agree with that? I would definitely agree with that. They are big jokers. I would also add uh, Robert Golden and William Gay to that as well. So all defensive guys. Yeah, yeah, we're pretty, uh, pretty loose bunch. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this one is from Steel Dream 7. Hi, Ross. Thanks for taking some time with Steelers Nation. You've been such an inspiration to me being someone who has worked hard to get to the position you are presently now in. Who in your life has inspired you to work hard to achieve your dream, excuse me, of playing in the NFL? Uh, yeah, it's a great question. Um, my parents have been uh, my role models, my mentors. Uh, both my mom and my dad worked uh, very hard throughout their entire life. All right, next up is Brandon. Said, best of luck this season. Who was your favorite NFL player growing up? Uh, my favorite NFL player growing up was uh, Marvin Harrison. Uh, I used to play offense. And uh, Marvin Harrison was somebody that I looked up to. All right, this is from Lansdale Arch. How does it? How does going up against AB help you prepare for your opponents? Well, AB is one of the best of the game, and um, his explosiveness, his quickness, is something that you can't really replicate a lot, and uh, that's what that's what uh, helps it the most. Okay, and just quickly, our keyword for today is corner. Makes sense. Head to SteelersNationUnite.com. Enter the keyword corner. That's good until tonight. Back to the questions. This is from Jesslyn. She wants to know, what was your favorite part of training camp? My favorite part of training camp? <laughs> uh, actually, it was just being at St. Vincent. It was my first training camp. Being able to get to know some of the players on a more personal level. 
and uh, and being there is a beautiful campus. Uh, really happy that we got there and uh, looking forward to going back. All right, this one is from Cheryl. She wants to know what's it like coming out of the tunnel for a home game. Yes, yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty exciting. I I actually think about it as as like I'm Bane coming out from uh, the Batman movies <laughs> when he steps out on the Heinz Field. So uh, that's how I look at it. <laughs> Next one is from Mike53. Russ, how do you think the Steelers' defense in the backfield will be this year compared to last year? I think this year compared to last year, we'll, uh, we'll contest a lot more balls. Um, we'll do our best to continue working on turnovers. I know we got a lot of interceptions last year, and, and that's what we're going to hang our hat on. All right, next up is Judy. She wants to know, what is your favorite thing to do when it isn't football season, i.e., do you have a favorite vacation spot? Yeah, so... Uh, I like the vacation in South Florida and north of Miami. Um, I love being on the beach and I love hanging out with my family. All right. Sounds good right about now, right? Yeah. All right. This is from Heather. If you could change positions to an offensive position, which would it be and why? I would play wide receiver. Um, <laughs> I guess just because that's what my body type would probably fit the best. There you go. All right. Casey wants to know, what would you be doing if you weren't playing football right now? If I wasn't playing football right now, I would probably go to law school, and uh, I want to be—I would be an athletic director. Very nice. This is from In Cutch We Trust. What's the one player you are looking forward to playing against the most, and why? Uh, we play—we play a lot of good receivers this year. We got a lot of a lot of people that are that are very you know at the top of the league. Uh, so I guess one person I look forward to playing is AJ Green. He's very good. He's a very good wide receiver. A vertical threat, somebody that we get to play against twice as well. All right, Berg Runner wants to know what is on your workout playlist. My, uh, <laughs> I usually don't listen to music, but if I if I if I am listening to music, it's probably some type of rap or hip hop. You know, nothing special though. Okay, uh, Jamie wants to know what would you say was your biggest accomplishment while playing for Duke. Uh. While playing for Duke, my biggest accomplishment probably was uh, being elected as a team captain uh, my last two years. All right. Warren D. wants to know, what preparations have you made to limit yardage of the Saints receivers this week? So we've, uh, we've done a lot of game planning this week, and um, we've done a lot of film study as well. One of the things that we're going to do is we're going to get up on the line of scrimmage and we're going to put pressure on these guys. All right. Derek wants to know, who was your mentor growing up? My mentor growing up was uh, was my dad. He coached me in football, basketball. He coached me in everything that I did. He was a, he was always uh, my my biggest cheerleader, my biggest discipliner. Um, <laughs> so uh, he was he was a good role model for me. All right, June CLP wants to know what is your favorite movie or movies. Uh okay, that's a, I like that question. I have a couple that I like. Um, I'm a big fan of The Matrix. Gladiator, Troy, those are probably my top three. Okay. Uh, B. Cook says, it looks like you were extremely fast in high school as well as being a receiver on the football team. What can we expect to see you, re when can we expect to see you returning punts for the Steelers? We need a good return, man. <laughs> well, Antonio Brown pretty much has that job on mind, so uh, I'll, I'll leave that to the big gun. <laughs> All right, I know we already asked you your favorite NFL player growing up. Uh they want to know what was your favorite football team? Uh, my favorite football team growing up, uh, I was a big I was a big Colts fan uh, because of Marvin Harrison and Peyton Manning. And, uh, but now I'm all about Pittsburgh. Okay. Uh, last one, Trevor, still UK, wants to know what is the most difficult challenge you have faced since joining the Steelers? Um, the most difficult challenge I've faced since being a part of this team um, – is, you know, trying to fit in and getting to know people. And uh, being in training camp this past season really helped a lot with that. All right, very cool. Don't forget, our keyword for today is corner rate. Ross, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. All right, thanks to you, the fans. We'll see you next time on the Steelers Nation Unite Weekly Huddle.